Still on the quest to find the perfect overstable approach putter. We might have just found it today. What's going on, dudes? Today we got another rapid disc review for you. If you guys have watched the channel at all, you guys know I've been on the quest to try to replace my zone in my bag. Now the zone is a great disc, don't get me wrong. This one's just getting a little bit too straight on me. And it's really hard to find like a really beefy zone that I like. Personally, I like something in between a zone and a zone OS instability. And that's where that temple really came in and I really enjoy the temple. The only thing I can't get over with the temple is the base plastic. I love the base plastic, don't get me wrong. It hits, it sticks but I just hate having to cycle them out and replace it every month. You know, it just gets too beat up. So we're, we're still on the quest, we're still looking. I picked up this yarn or yarn, yarn, however you say it from Castaplast the other, uh, like I picked this up last week because I, I was gonna make a review on this. I did make a review on this. Didn't really like how the video turned out, but I still kept throwing it for a little bit and ended up actually hitting an ace out here on hole four. And it's perfect time to go get another disc to check out. And that's where I picked up this A2 by Prodigy. So we're gonna be comparing these today against the zone, the temple, um, and just seeing if any one of these can go in my bag. So the zone here is a 4303. It's gonna have a nice reliable fade to it. Generally, they're not as overstable as the numbers suggest, which can be good, can be bad. It depends on who you ask. So moving on, the temple is also a 4303, pretty similar to the zone, but starts out a bit more overstable if that's what you're looking for. All right, get that temple appropriate height. The Jarn is a four and a half speed, three glide, zero turn, and a three fade. So same numbers as the zone, except it's a four and a half speed, whatever that means. And then the A2 is a 4403. So it's got one extra glide, which to me, extra glide means it's gonna wanna push straighter for longer and not have as much overstability. But I threw this thing around a little bit yesterday. This thing's a beefcake. So we're gonna check out the side profiles real quick. So the zone and the temple are very similar. I think the temple's just a little bit thinner. Now, as far as the yarn in the zone or the yarn in the zone, quite, quite different. The yarn is a bit thinner, definitely feels like a four and a half speed, maybe a little bit like a fat like a five speed doesn't have as much of like a blunt edge to it which is pretty comparable to the a2 which might actually just be like a little bit thinner yarn the a2 is on the right but yeah the a2 and the yarn are pretty similar here which i really like the hand feel of this yarn and the uh and the a2 personally i really am liking it i'd say they're all pretty comparable i feel like i threw the zone the worst but yet it still got out here with uh with all the other ones this is hole four this is the hole that i just aced the other day with the yarn see if we can't uh replicate something here with these zone like disc or maybe the yarn again throw them out there on some spike heiza do it oh short way short let's see if we can get the temple there All right, bizarre. Well, I got the bad ones, I keep the good ones. Yeah, I, I do have to sometimes. <laughs> All right, see if we can't ace with the yarn again. Do it. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my God, I hit the top of the freaking basket. <laughs> well, that was close, that was, uh. I almost did it again. A2, let's see, if, let's see how close this one gets. Oh, oh, I hit the pole. I seriously hit the pole that time again. <laughs> Here we have a pretty stock forehand shot. I can't believe I hit the top of the basket, dude, with the yarn. I can't believe I almost got another ace with it. <laughs> okay. Oh man. I'm just saying, I've been throwing the temple in that shot for a couple months now, I come out here all the time, probably two or three times a week. And I've thrown the temple on that shot dozens of times already. And literally the first time I throw the yarn on that shot, I ace with it. And then the second time I throw the yarn on that shot, I hit the top of the basket. Are you kidding me? The yarn might be the best approach disc in the game. I'm just saying. Skip up there. Yeah. So like to see, I threw it pretty low. <laughs> Uh, got lucky with that skip there. Let's see if we can't uh, throw this tempo a little higher. All right, I Annie chopped that a little bit. You can see it fighting out. It's up there. It's probably on the concrete though, OB. But 
You still got to see it fight out and do its thing. All right, let's see this yarn. Come on, just go in the basket one more time for me. It's looking good. Ooh. Pretty good shot there. And last but not least, A2. Yeah. I really, really like the overstability of that A2. It's right in that category of slightly more stable in the zone, but not like zone OS beefy or no, no, nothing like that. So I really, really like that. All right, I'm gonna throw these out there on some backhand flex lines and then some forehand flex lines to wind it out. I uh, grip locked that <laughs> a little bit, if you couldn't tell, but still just kind of went straight, um, like fought out a little bit. Pretty nice. Ten pull up next. Let's try not to. Uh, let's try to actually put it on the line that I'm that I'm aiming for. There we go. Yeah, nice and straight shot. Pretty uh, reliable comeback at the end. It's a good disc. The temple's a good disc. Here we go. Jarn time. Yeah. Honestly, I think that fought out a little bit faster than the temple. The temple got down there to like that first little tree and that did not. <laughs> that one came out way quicker. Let's do this A2. Do it a little higher. Yeah, very overstable. Again, didn't even make it to that second bush. That, that gray temple is a little bit beat in. It's not like super straight yet, but it's probably similar to a zone right now. Whereas the A2 and the yarn are definitely more overstable. We're gonna end out this video trying these out on some forehand chop. You guys know the shot. We're throwing it like that. Yep. Just a nice smooth pan the whole way. Now these I'm expecting to fight out a little bit more. <laughs> oh, except when you throw it into a headwind and you throw it with that much chop. Woo, that was not, not a good shot. Again, throwing them way too much chop for some reason. There we go. Well, I threw the temple and the yarn really bad right there, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video still. Hope you guys got to see the flights enough. If you guys haven't seen the temple, go check out my temple review. I've got a video specifically on the temple, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Right now, I think the A2 is probably gonna go in my bag. I really like how overstable it is and how thin it is. I'm really liking that. So we're gonna try bagging the A2 for a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. See y'all in the next one. Peace.